So this is meant to be a cautionary tale about cheap LED headlights. I'm just gonna drive my, just driving my 2007 Pontiac Solstice down to the shop. And you can see we've got no check engine lights. Everything is all systems go on this bad boy. But not for long. So remember that video I made a while back on replacing the headlights? I used some cheap LEDs from Amazon and they worked great. In fact, they still work great. Now, I've got the stock lights in here right now, but let me swap them out real quick. Nothing to it, right? Now remember, we had no check engine lights, no airs, no nothing. Watch this. All right, here we go. Hmm. Telling us service ESC. Got a check engine light now. Service traction. ESC off. I don't know if you can see that through the glare. Let's see here, yeah, traction off. No oh, door jar. Guess I can take care of that one. There you have it. Look at that. Service traction and service ESC. And we've got a bunch of lights. I've already plugged in an OBD2 scanner, so we're gonna hit our diagnostic trouble codes. And go ahead and we'll just go ahead and read all of this stuff. All right, we've got a U0073. We've got a P2544 torque management request, input signal A malfunction. There's another U0073. That's reading off the ECU. ABS, we've got a communication CAN bus malfunction. That's going to the ABS computer. So yeah. So I can tell you right now, the car is undrivable. You, you cannot drive this car. Uh, yeah, it runs, yeah, it moves, but I can't even get to the end of my street. The thing shifts so hard. It's just, it's impossible to drive. And you have all of these errors. And this is all because of those stinking headlights. Oh yeah, here's another fun little thing. When you go to start it after you have all these errors, nothing. You do that about four or five times, and then it'll start. Isn't that great? I just want to show you, the headlights do work. Those headlights are completely functional. No flickering. They're both on, everything looks great. But everything is definitely not great. Yeah, it took me a while to figure this out. Uh, and it was pretty much dumb luck that I did figure it out, to be honest with you. I mean, I, okay, I put a lot of thought into it. I did have a couple friends that are uh, actually Chevy technicians, um, Chevy dealership technicians, that uh, put a GM Tech 2 scanner on it. So I was able to see some of the stuff that was going on, because you have this CAN bus error, and you can just see all of the modules just dropping out, uh, kind of like they were flickering, right? Which initially made me think it was a ground problem somewhere. Now, the, one of the reasons it took me so long is in the old keep it simple, stupid uh, method, and you know the last thing you replaced was probably what caused the problem. The last thing I'd actually replaced was the battery, not the headlights. I had replaced the battery a couple days before this happened. In fact, there's even a video on how to replace a Solstice battery on my channel. And uh, so shortly after that is when all of this just went south. Fortunately, it was, uh, we were going into winter, so I didn't really care because I wasn't driving the car much anymore, so it didn't, didn't matter too much. I honestly, I thought there was something wrong with the transmission. Unfortunately, it wasn't. But it did take me forever to figure it out. And uh, a good friend of mine who's a uh, electronics wizard, he's, you know, he's like literally a rocket scientist, he said the problem with the CAN bus was definitely 
something causing noise on the CAN bus. And then another friend of mine, I know, I know the story's getting a little lengthy, but then another friend of mine had a issue with his truck where the headlights uh, were causing it to not start. I mean, he unless he uh, unless he had a test light plugged into the headlight, the fuel pump wouldn't work. It was the strangest thing. But all of that together made me think, wait a second, what about the LED headlights that are in the car? They work fine, but what if I just go unplug them? So let's, let's unplug them. We're just going to unplug that one. Unplug this one. Well, look at that. Now all we have is the check engine light, which is to be expected. And well, we got to clear that one. But all of a sudden, our transmission and traction control problems are gone. So let's clear those codes. We are just going to clear that, clear those, and no more trouble codes. Turn it off, pull the key out, start it back up. No more check engine light. And we'll just go back, tell this to read again. No codes found. So now I'm stuck using crappy headlights, right? Hopefully the answer to that is wrong. My good friends at Lost Fit, they sent me some headlights. They said, you're not gonna have any problems with these headlights. The ones you bought were crap. These are much better. They won't have that issue. So we're gonna plug these in now and see if they're right. Apparently LED lights are very noisy. CAN bus issues can be a problem with them. Most of these have some circuitry built in to the light that makes it so that's not an issue. But apparently on the cheap ones, that stuff goes bad. That's what causes the flickering and stuff that people talk about. We're gonna pop these out. This is the same company lights that I use in my 2500. Why I didn't just buy some of these in the first place is, is really beyond me. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Because I'm really happy with the, the ones in my 2500 HD over there. I'm super happy with those lights. All right. No universal installation steps for reference only. This is all pretty self-explanatory. As I mentioned in the last video, don't ever touch the bulbs with your uh, bare hands. Um... You know, you use gloves if for some reason you need to touch. I don't even know why you would need to touch them, so just don't touch the lights. Let's pop these in. Connect you up. Go ahead and put a pin back in there. And then we'll do the other one. These are nice construction. I, I like the uh, I like the wiring loom. That's really nice. It's like quality connectors. This one even has a rubber gasket that the other ones didn't have. Now, of course, there's a link to these in the description. Let me just put you in there. All right, here's what really matters. Do they work or do we have more errors? By the way, I did go through every single ground in this car and clean it. Every single one, including uh, the one underneath the console here. And yeah, anyway. So far, so good. Those look great. I'll be able to see at night again and I'll actually be able to drive the car. If you get a U0073 error on your solstice and you've got LED lights in it, you might try unplugging them, see if that goes away. If not, I mean, you know, check all the grounds. Uh, there's lots of other things you can try for the U0073 error, but if you got LED lights, unplug them, see if your problem disappears. Like, subscribe, comment. See you all down the road.